Hello, my Jason. I welcome to my episode recap for episode 8 of Fate, Carolina, Prisma, Ilya, Thray. The episode is People and Tools. And so the ideologically uh, factors come into fruition. We get the sort of plot twist, uh, per se, with the Ainsworth and their true goal. It's not really just to kidnap Miu for no apparent reason. They kidnap Miu or the Holy Grail, which is what she actually is in this universe, in order to save the world. And so the next episode, Ilya's Choice, we'll also be able to Ilya choosing whether to save the world or to save me you it's a really big uh conflict within Ilya what she should actually do you know should she you know forsake the world in order to save her best friend or is he willing is she willing to sacrifice her best friend to save the world and you know it's very similar to I guess you know, Shiro and Fate Stay Night the whole university the whole uh decisions you have to make uh here within your own life you know whether to forsake uh your own ideals in order to do your uh, some other other thing and so it's big decisions that are always very contradictory and the Ilya's uh, decision at least we'll have to wait to see on that but she does get this realization from Angelica and Gil does give this realization to Kudo and Bazet realizing that Whatever they do, if they don't try to save the world, they're pretty much villains in this universe. And so, very interesting uh, moments here when I read it in the manga, and it's pretty much uh, well realized as well in the anime, just that little sequence there. Uh, the action scenes between Angelica, uh, Rin, and Luvia, the doll versions of them, it was pretty decent, uh, nothing to, you know, awe, awe or gawk at, uh, really, I mean, it's pretty much what it served, it was pretty much a squash match, uh, between Ilya, so that Ilya could be cornered by Angelica and be told this real, uh, revelation, what Mew's purpose is, uh, in this universe, to be the Holy Grail, to be this vessel, in order to for, pretty much, uh, bring back all the magic and all the light back in this world. And I see that, uh, the producers and the animators did a lot of censoring, uh, in this episode, uh, here compared to the manga, uh, with if Ilya, um, well, not really Ilya per se, but Body Onechan, as Erica calls her, she had no idea to take off her clothes. She just cut off uh, her clothes, and uh, Ilya is pretty much naked. Uh, they kind of censored that a little bit there. Even Luvia, when. Um, but teddy bear Ilya did some damage of damage per se it's more like a pebble as Sapphire and Ilya do call it you know in her um, form uh, there they do do some sort of damage at least you know pretty much wiping away Luvia's clothes and you know once, obviously once Luvia gets her mind back into her body she'll probably come to that realization of how uh, half naked uh, she is so that's probably gonna be a funny uh, thing coming up for Luvia uh, but for this episode it's mostly just that revelation at the end nothing really too much in the beginning parts, obviously Erica uh, is just waiting for Angelica to get her business done or errands done so that she can get Body Onechan uh, back. But we did get an Ilya in a sapphire uh, version of the Kaleido stick uh, when Ilya does get her body back when she shoots a certain uh, weak point and a transference seal within her own body and so that's definitely... Oh, she, oh yeah, uh, I forgot about that. Erica didn't want a body on Nature back. She just wanted the teddy bear uh, back to normal when Erica um, saw that Angelica cut cut it up when Ilya was uh, pretty much talking to uh, Angelica, you know, spouting out their ideals uh, back and forth, how uh, Ilya sees um, people as people, you know, the Ainsworths don't see people as people, they see them as tools in their own way, and Angelica questions Ilya's philosophy by saying that, hey, you used our cards that we created to use for your own tools, your own spirit spirits, and your own sort of way, trying to attack us with our own creation, and so that's pretty hypocritical of you, saying that, hey, you shouldn't be, you know, fighting people for no reason, as Erica uh, does tell Ilya, and their reasoning, uh, the Ainsworths, you know, they do have a proper reason, they want to save the world, and Ilya's kind of getting in the way of that if she's trying to save me, you. And so that's definitely a big uh, philosophy, ideological clash that we're seeing here. Hopefully get a lot more of that coming out because that's a really big uh, thing that I really liked about this arc here uh, in the manga, reading that the ideologically clashes. Obviously the battles coming out is going to be really fun as well, but still the um, you know the philosophies of the characters are always interesting as well. It presents the Ainsworths as more compelling villain rather than just you know, people who just want to uh, take over the world who have maniacal laughters 
Wars, anything like that. And so for Rain Game this episode, a 3 out of 5. Again, nothing really too much to gawk at uh, for the battles. It's mostly just 3 on 1 battle. Uh, the servant cards were pretty well realized uh, for the most part. You know, just a huge black uh, shroud uh, over, uh, over or compassing uh, Il uh, Ruvia and Rin. Uh, Ilya in her sapphire form, pretty much uh, standard stuff there. But the uh, reveal at the end was really cool. Uh, seeing that reveal that Angelica gave to Ilya. You know, Angelica's a really interesting character as well. Um, definitely hope they do give her justice uh, as the series progresses because uh, definitely she's a very interesting uh, character. Even the Ainsworths are very interesting characters as well in their own philosophies and the uh, very interesting cast of characters uh, that they are part of the household. So put down your thoughts and feelings in the comment section down below. Also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you for watching episode recap for episode 8 of Fake Carolina Prisma Lydia 3. The episode is People and Tools. Who's have a nice day. Bye-bye.